update on the Virginia shooting, an incredible mistake by, a, by the CIA, and more are up next. News scene starts right now. Good evening. Today's Monday, April 4th. I'm Laura Rickey. And I'm Willie Mantinelli, and here are your top stories. Virginia State Police are attempting to determine the motive of, of a gunman who shot and killed a state trooper in Richmond. The shooter, James Brown III of Aurora, Illinois, was an ex-con who harbored anger about police forces. Brown had previously been charged with a slew of crimes, ranging from cocaine possession to murder. He was on a bus trip from Raleigh, North Carolina to Aurora when his bus stopped in Richmond. It was there that, after exchanging what is believed to be small talk with a local state trooper, Brown opened fire. State trooper Chad Dermer was shot in the chest multiple times and died later that week. Dermer leaves behind a wife and two children. The CIA left behind inert explosives in a Virginia school bus that was then used to transport students for two days. The explosives were used for a canine training exercise involving the buses while students were on spring break. They were discovered in the engine compartment when they fell from their original placement into a different engine space. The school district released a statement saying, quote, The CIA assured Loudoun officials the training material used in this exercise is stable and posed no danger to students on board the bus. End quote. The CIA said the material has been recovered and that they are working to review training and to make procedures more strict for its canine program to ensure that these mistakes do not happen again. The Labor Department has reported that over 200,000 new jobs were added to the U.S. economy in March. According to news sources, this is a good sign that the labor market is managing to avoid a slowing global economy. Industries with the biggest gains were retail, construction, and healthcare. The manufacturing and mining industries, however, experienced job losses. These hiring gains are not as significant as December's 300,000, but demonstrate that businesses are confident enough to hire new employees. As a result of March gains, the employment rate wrote, rose from four, unemployment rate rose from 4.9 to 5 percent, signaling that new job seekers are entering the market. The Indian construction company, IRVCL, faces charges of attempted murder, mischief, and criminal conspiracy in connection to an overpass collapse in Kolkata. Over 24 people died and over 80 people were injured last Thursday when the overpass collapsed onto the streets of Kolkata's Gurish Park area. Twelve people from IVRCL were brought in for questioning on Friday, but it's unclear how many of them, if any, will be formally arrested or on what counts. A representative from the company told reporters, quote, It's nothing but a God's act. So far in 27 years, we've constructed several numbers of bridges. It never happened, end quote. After almost a decade in development, Tesla Motors has finally revealed the Model 3, a fully electric car with BMW-style performance. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, the new Model 3 will be good for 0 to 60 in less than 6 seconds, and there will be versions that go even faster. The base model will be able to go about 215 miles on a single charge. Musk also promised that the car will have 5-star safety ratings in every category, and will include standard autopilot-style safety features. This price point is currently set at $35,000. Over 100,000 customers have already placed their pre-orders. Deliveries are expected to begin by the end of 2017. SUNY Geneseo's mascot, Victor E. Knight, won the Mascot Madness competition, SUNY announced on Thursday. Victor edged out SUNY Stony Brook's Wolfie Seawolf by a narrow 3% margin in the last hours of the competition. SUNY's blog posted saying, quote, The poll shows that the voting went 15,798 to 14,746 leading to an unbelievably tense 3% margin of victory for Victor. Nearly 100,000 unique votes were cast throughout the tournament." End quote. SUNY also thanked all of the mascot fans across the state for participating in the competition. So what will the weather be like this week? The answer and more of your nightly news when we come back. Welcome back to News Scene. Now, here's the update on your weather news. This evening, we can expect light snow showers with a low of around 14 degrees. Looking ahead to later this week, Tuesday will be partly cloudy throughout the day with a high of 31 and dropping down to 16. Wednesday, we can expect light rain showers in the morning with a high of 48 and dropping down to a low of 40 in the evening. Thanks, Will. 
Kenzie's up next with your world news. Stay right here on GSTV. This past Thursday, U.S. President Barack Obama hosted a group of almost 50 world leaders at a summit to discuss nuclear security. Leaders discussed many topics, in particular, the topic of how to secure nuclear materials around the world. Reporters at the conference conveyed their deep concerns about disturbingly frequent, undocumented nuclear transactions. President Obama is urging other nations to, quote, take stock of what they have, track it, and put more security on it, end quote. with your entertainment news. This past April Fool's Day, Google pranked Gmail users by creating a new mic drop button. When used, the button ended email chains by sending a message of a gif of a minion dropping a microphone. If individuals tried to respond to this message, it would not be sent to the intended recipients because Google placed this mic drop button next to the sent button. Many people on April Fool's Day pressed the button by mistake. This caused several complaints to arise from individuals who did not want to end an email conversation and from those who were sending professional emails. After a few hours, Google took down the feature and publicly apologized to anyone negatively affected by it. Geneseo will be hosting another roller skating event sponsored by Alpha Phi Omega and the organization Friends of Long Point in Livingston County. The event will take place in the Cool Gym on Friday, April 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. Admission is $6 for adults, $5 for college students and younger. The event will be open to all members of the community, just as last September roller skates roller skating event was. Skates will be provided at the event and there will be a variety of contests and prizes. Thanks, Annie. Well, that wraps up today's edition of News Scene. Be sure to tune in Wednesday for our next broadcast. Remember, GSTV can film your clubs and events. I'm Louie Mattinelli. And I'm Laura Ricky. Thanks for watching and have a good night, Geneseo.